Hey guys, how's it going? Now I've said it before and I'll say it again. Telegram Messenger is the best IM client out there. And a lot of you guys are starting to agree with me considering the rapid growth in the user base out there. That's it. The interface is quite different from WhatsApp and obviously those lots and lots of features kind of get unnoticed in that UI of Telegram. Well, that's what this video is all about. Hey guys, this is Varun from Guiding Tech and today I'll be talking about 10 of the super coolest and great features that Telegram packs in that every user should know about. Let's get started. So kicking things off, we have chat folders, which is a super cool and easy way to organize your chats. It allows you to categorize your chats into different labels. To do so, just open the hamburger menu and move to settings, folders. Here, tap on create a new folder and give a name like personal, work, fun, unread, etc. After that, just add the chats that you would like to appear in this folder and that's it. Pretty cool, no? Okay, so we all hate it when we are sending a long message and we make a typo, right? Well, thankfully, Telegram gives you the option to edit your sent messages as well, unlike Twitter. All you have to do is select the message and tap on the edit icon at the top and you can easily edit the message. Now just remember that it will show you an edited label once you have made the changes, but I think that's a fair trade-off. Speaking of messages, Telegram also offers a new feature that's called silent messages, which basically allows you to send a message to anyone of your contacts without giving them a notification. Like the phone on their end won't ring or vibrate or any sort of thing. This comes in really handy if you're trying to contact someone who you know is going to be busy, you know, in a meeting or whether he or she is studying and you don't want to disturb them, but you still want to pass on some kind of information. So yeah, that's where this feature comes in super handy. To do so, all you have to do is type out your message and then tap and hold the send button. Here, choose send without sound and you're done. Now, another great thing about Telegram is that you can even schedule messages. Trust me, I've used this feature countless number of times to just wish people happy birthday at midnight without actually being up. To schedule a text, type out your message and then tap and hold on the send button and then tap on schedule message. Now just pick the date and time and the message will be sent at your preferred time. Okay, so this next feature is super cool. Telegram actually allows you to easily search for YouTube videos and GIFs right inside the app without having you to actually switch to YouTube or any other GIF provider. All I need to do is type at the rate YouTube followed by my search query and the list will pop up. Heck, you can even use the search for searching GIFs as well by just typing at the rate GIF followed by your search. Once you find what you like, just tap on it and you can easily share it with your contacts. Now, another feature I genuinely love about Telegram is that it also allows you the ability to select a part of a message. Now, this comes in really handy when a single message contains a lot of details and you just need to copy selected portion of that message. To do so, just tap and hold on a message to select it first and then again tap and hold to select your part of the message. And voila, it's done. Okay, so by far my favorite reason why I keep using Telegram over WhatsApp is the fact that I can easily share media files without having to worry about compression of any sort. You know, photos, videos and whatnot can be shared on Telegram without their size being distorted like WhatsApp. Now in order to do that, just select your media and tap on the three dot menu. After that, just tap on send without compression and that's it. Isn't that cool? Okay, so this next feature is helpful for both, but primarily most helpful for iOS users. See, Android devices usually come with third-party or even first-party app lockers. But on iOS, there is no app locking facility available. You just have a passcode for your device and that's it. Thankfully, Telegram has an inbuilt secret passcode for basically locking out your chats. To lock a chat, just go to settings, privacy and security, then tap on passcode lock and enable it. Now, once you create a passcode and enable it, you will be able to lock and unlock your chats by tapping on the lock icon at the top right of the app. That way, you can let someone use your phone without having to fear that they'll access your private chats. Taking this one step closer is secret chats. Now, what secret chats does is that while usual chats are end-to-end -end encrypted, secret chats are user-to-user -user encrypted. The chats are never stored on Telegram servers and they are periodically deleted by its own. To start a secret chat, you can either tap on the option in the hamburger menu and select a contact to start the chat. Alternatively, you can go to an existing chat, tap on the top bar for the user's information and scroll down to find the start secret chat option. 
Once you tap on the option, the other person will have to accept your invitation to initiate the secret chat, and that's it. Lastly, one of my biggest complaints with WhatsApp has been sorted on Telegram, which is the ability for theming and not just predefined themes. Telegram offers you full freedom to customize your app the way you want it to be. To create your own theme, just go to settings, chat settings, theme, and then tap on create a new theme. Here, add a custom name of your theme and then proceed on to customize each and every element of the chat as per your liking and color preference. It's so so cool, right? And well, that was it. If you like this video and would like to see more videos of this kind, make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech videos. Till then, this is Varun from Guiding Tech, and I'll see you in the next one.